Hello, today we will make a reusable blueprint in Unreal Engine 4 and it can be used also in 5 for uh, a sliding door. You can easy copy and uh, migrate this uh, blueprint to other projects and use them as well. If you haven't watched, uh, our previous uh, tutorial was about a rotating door. So we set up a, uh, the same thing uh, with a rotation option and it can be used in various projects. Okay, let's start now uh, to make the blueprint for the sliding door. We ri right click and create a blueprint actor. Let's call this one BP underscore sliding door and open the blueprint. We add a box collision and let's scale it as well like this and adjust the position. Like this. Let's scale it also in this direction. Like this. Okay, let's open now the event graph and we will need these two. We'll create also the checking that uh, uh, if the player is inside this volume, so this variable is player in volume. Let's place it here. So we'll get the player pawn. And make a comparison if the player pawn is overlapping this uh, collision box. And if it's overlapping, we'll set that the player is inside the volume to true. And now the end overlap event. And let's copy these nodes and paste them here. Okay, so this one should be unticked, so the player left the volume. Now from the event begin play, we should uh, detach from component the box so, so it stays in the same place and we are able to slide the door back in as well. Set them all to be keep world so it stays in the same position. Okay. Now we have to make uh, some variables to uh, store the two positions of the door, the initial and the end position. So let's create initial position, initial door position. And this one should be a vector. And end door position. Okay, and now let's make another one, the door sliding amount. And this one should be a float. And let's make it instance editable. So in the editor we can specify this value. Let's make this like minus 60. For example, for now, and now let's set those variables. So the initial door position should be the place where the uh, blueprint actor is uh, in the world. So let's get his uh, world position, location, get world location, and this is 
the initial door position. And now let's drag from here and break this vector. So we get the door sliding amount and this door should be probably in uh, x direction so let's add this one to here we'll check it so we add those vectors together and let's combine them together in make a vector if, if you want to slide this door up and down for example you will add this sliding amount to the uh, z-axis and let's check if it's uh, y or x uh, direction okay so let's now uh, set the end position and this one will be here like this Okay, we are ready with this setup. Let's now create the key binding. So, let's use the same key. So, the first thing will be to check uh, if the player is inside the volume. So, by uh, pressing uh, the B key and Clicking, we create this branch node and drag and drop the is player in volume uh, variable here inside the condition. So if this one is true, we we'll create a flip flop, and from here we'll create the animation with a timeline. This we will call sliding door. And when we press the first time, it will open and will play the animation. And when we press it the second time, it will play the animation in reverse. Okay, we open the sliding door uh, timeline and create a fault track and call it sliding. It will be uh, 2 seconds the length and by pressing shift and clicking we create a point here. The first one will be at 0, 0 and the last one will be at, time, at the end of the time 2 and the value 1 fully opened. Now let's select both values and uh, left click and make it uh, in an S curve like this to be smoother and better looking okay from here we drag and make the interpolation this one should be the delta time and the speed should be like 1 and here we set the uh, initial door position and the end door position. Okay, from here, uh, what we'll do is set the scene root world location. So we drag from here and set world location. And this will be the new location. Compile and save. And let's test now this blueprint. So uh, the first thing is to detach those uh, the door objects from the rotating. Uh, actor and let's move it to the side so it's not messing and let's drag here now the, the new 
uh, blueprint. Let's place it like this in the middle. And uh, let's place it inside our folder. Uh, select uh, the assets that uh, represent the door and by holding uh, and uh, drag and dropping it over the actor we'll parent them to it so uh, it, uh, the, the blueprint now con controls the movement of the door and let's scroll down select the blueprint actor and here in the input select the player 0 to control uh, the door opening and now let's test this one we are here and when we press the key the door slides 60 centimeters and now very easy here we can control the amount of the sliding for example let's test it with 20 centimeters we go to the door and it slides only 20 centimeters okay this was the blueprint it was very quick and easy to set up you can uh, mess with the sliding amount from here or you can as well change the values and add it to the y if it, the door is in the other direction or in the z if you want your door to slide up and down and this is how you set up a, an easy blueprint for opening and closing doors and you can easily migrate this blueprint and copy it to another file as well if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.